fantasy four-way, not my fantasy. These are all Marc Jacobs palettes. I just know I'm not gonna use any of these. Shimmers are to die for. Look at that, Kylie birthday. Not a fan of the packaging. We are decluttering my life today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kristen Dominique and we are cleaning out my makeup drawers today. I have been on YouTube for over 10 years. I've been working as a beauty influencer for seven years and I have accumulated so much makeup. Now I have decluttered within the years, but it's been like four years since I've really took a deep declutter. I try to get rid of things little by little, but I still have a lot of makeup, you guys. So because I am showing you guys all the makeup that I have, I wanna give back to you in this video and this month I love to give back. So I'll be doing a giveaway with this video and I'll show it right here. I'll be giving gently used makeup to family and friends, but to you guys, I wanna give you fresh, clean, untouched makeup. Okay, so there are going to be four winners. These are the boxes that I filled. One, two, three, four. There's high-end, there is drugstore in here, there's mini palettes, there's huge palettes. So if you want to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, comment below. For an extra entry, make sure to follow my Instagram. If you are doing the extra entry, just make sure to let me know what your Instagram handle is next to your comment. Make sure you're public so that I can contact you. And that's pretty much all you have to do. I'll let you know final details in the description. So make sure to check that out. So this is the perfect time for me to organize my life in general. I just organize my closet and it feels so much better. I feel way more refreshed, especially if you're going through any kind of weird time in your life or hard time. It's great to just kind of reorganize everything. It just helps kind of clear your mind. Also meditation helps a lot. I really enjoy listening to Audible. I've actually been listening to Breaking the Bad Habit of Being Yourself. It's by Joe Dispenza. It's a really good audiobook. I really enjoy Audible. I listen to podcasts on their meditation programs. There's so many things you can listen to. And the thing that I like about Audible is that the Audible members that every month you get one free free audio book and you get full access to the plus catalog and I really really enjoy it. If you guys want to check out the audiobook that I'm listening to right now you can visit audible.com slash Kristen or you can just text Kristen to 500 500. I'll have it right here for you guys just so it's easy and it's easy to sign up and right now there's a limited holiday offer going on. You can save 60% off your first three months of audible and that's like five 95 a month so it's pretty inexpensive and I really enjoy it I use it a lot I think you guys would really love it too but anything like that or even just having time in the shower listening to music cooking sometimes is really a great way to refresh your mind and have that time for yourself in today's video I have palettes that I have not touched and I will be giving those away to you all right so let's go ahead and get started grab your cozy blanket get your hot chocolate whatever you like to snack on don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so to be a part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys an overview of how I store my makeup. Just let me know if you guys wanna see a part two of like everything else other than the palettes. But this is all my skincare and everything. And then all my palettes are in these drawers right here. And I have them set up from neutral to colored and they're alphabetical kind of i mean it's a hot mess to be honest these are my highlight palettes and then these are just face and contour palettes but let's go ahead and start over here okay i have this glossier palette that i just got in and i used it in a video recently i don't feel like i'm gonna ever use it again just because of the layout of it i'm not really feeling the vibe this palette has obviously been super used. I used her and abused her. The Makeup by Mario palette, let me open it. I'm actually holding this humongous camera in my hand. Wish me luck on the rest of this video. But this palette is something that I use all the time. Love to travel with this palette and I am not getting rid of this. Then we have this NARS one always comes through with the packaging. Look at how gorgeous this texture is. I love the tones in this palette. Will I be using this? I obviously haven't used it yet. I don't want to get rid of it, but I feel like I kind of need to get rid of it because I have palettes like this that I absolutely adore. So I feel like somebody else can get use out of it. Bye NARS. So this is the Pinky Rose palette has not been used at all. There's a lot of fun colors in here. It shouldn't be in the neutral palettes, but I don't think I'm gonna be using this, to be honest. I'm not excited, um, unfortunately. It's a really pretty palette. Love the packaging. I'm gonna have to part ways with this one. This one I just got in, it's from Christina Sickless. It's really, really pretty. This top row right here is really making me wanna keep this palette, especially this shade. Oh my God, 
so pretty. I want to try these out and I just need to know more. Cute palette. I'm gonna toss it. The Huda Naughty Nude. I have to keep because there's so many cool textures in here. So definitely have to play with this more. Okay, we have the Buxom X Ashley Comb. This is a really pretty neutral palette, but it also has those really nice pops of color in there. So you can go from day to night. I can't part ways with it. This is one of my first Anastasia palette. This is the Lavish palette. I was obsessed with orange soda. Like no one could ever be obsessed with something. Like I loved cream, orange soda, all about it, but time has passed and I should just let it go. This one is from Makeup Forever and they always have really pretty shades. I love this because it's an all matte palette. I kind of want to keep this one. Another LA Girl palette that I have not opened. This one I actually want to try out because of those rosy tones in there. I feel like I I could definitely create a look with this so i'm going to try this one out this is i think was this one of the first kylie palettes i'm not sure but i think i'm gonna get rid of this one because i obviously didn't use it very much this is the live glam birthday suit palette there's some really really pretty neutral tones in there and i definitely have to give it a try i'm going to keep this one this is from catrice it's the five in a box mini eyeshadow palette very very cute love these like everyday neutral vibes but i don't think i'll be grabbing this anytime soon i just did a giveaway with this palette it's so cute it's so adorable i obviously have not used it i probably won't be using it i just think it's cute but i definitely think somebody else would love it i was obsessed with this Too faced chocolate bar palette for such a long time it doesn't really look like it to be honest this is probably my second one but i obviously love salted caramel i really dug into that shade this palette is so so sweet i love it for like an every day and i love that it smells like chocolate i kind of don't want to get rid of it but i kind of feel like i need to get rid of it these little tiny color pop palettes that i am just going to have to get rid of because i know i'm not going to use them this type of green doesn't call my name but when i open the palette it really excites me like i just feel like i can do some looks with this area right here i'll keep this this is such a pretty palette from NARS. This is the Summer Solstice palette. I haven't touched it. It's so gorgeous, and I definitely feel like somebody else could get some really good use out of it. Okay, so this one is the French Riviera palette from Jouer, and I absolutely love this. I haven't used it, but it's such a cute palette. I don't have anything with this pastel with warm tones that I can use, so I definitely want to try this out. Okay, this is from LA Girl. It's the Nudist palette. Nothing too exciting. I feel like I can definitely get rid of this one. LA Girl, very neutral palette. I have tons of these palettes, so I'll be getting rid of this one too. This one is from Haw's Laboratory, the Sunset 4-Way palette. It's really nice, very cute. haven't used it yet. It doesn't excite me, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, we have the Laura Lee Cast Pajamas palette. I love these shades. Very neutral, wearable every day. Keeping that. And then we have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Re- mastered palette which we definitely have to keep because how can you not keep her she's a mess but we love her okay this palette is from jouet and it's the essential matte and shimmer it's too simple for me definitely want to give this one away the next few palettes are going to be from kylie it's my kylie section this is the take me on vacation palette very pretty i love the neutral vibes don't think i'm going to be grabbing this anytime soon i'm gonna have to let her go then we have this palette who remembers this one it's just like a fiery 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 palette i'm going to get rid of this one. Oh my god i remember this one such a pretty palette it came with a brush in it i have tons of palettes that i love with these shades and i'm just gonna have to let her go we have the naughty palette it was a really pretty palette i like it i don't think i really used it very much but because of that reason i'm gonna have to get rid of it this was her nice palette it doesn't play i use this one very much either i will be tossing it out okay this is the sand haze palette and the inside is gorgeous i haven't touched this one but i do want to try it out we have to try her these little eyeshadows from kaja are so cute it's like a stack of eyeshadows typically don't gravitate towards these just because i like palettes more than like stackable things I'm giving this one away i don't really use this palette at the same time i don't want to get rid of it because it's fenty and i just gave one of my fenty palettes away and i just love rihanna but I don't see myself really using this, so I don't want to just 
keep things just to keep them, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of it. This one is from Marc Jacobs. I don't think I ever used it. It's not really something I'm excited about and I definitely wanna get rid of it. I have a ton of these. Another Kaja stackable that I will be giving away. This one just made me change my mind. I think I wanna keep this one. 24K in Nude from Maybelline. Very, very wearable. Definitely don't see myself grabbing this again. My face always killing it with the cute packaging. This is the Light My Fire palette. Very cute. I could use this, but because it's a mini and I haven't used it yet, I don't think I'll be using it anytime soon. I'm sad that this is all broken. This is the Pretty Cool palette from Dose of Colors. I can never get rid of anything that has Natasha Denona's name on it. Even if it's a mini like this, I just... It's hard for me to get rid of. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna ask one of my cousins to see if they want it. Okay, this mirror is broken, <laughs> but I haven't used any of these shades. I'm gonna have to give them away to a family member because obviously the mirror was broken. This is a palette that I just bought from the drugstore. It's the Maybelline Nudes of New York, and it's really cute, actually great quality, so I am going to keep this for a little while longer. This one is the Graffiti Nudes. really don't think I'll be using this anytime soon. This palette is so amazing. I just bought this one at the drugstore, the NYX Ultimate Edit. I want so many more of these. The quality of this is so amazing. Another ColourPop. Love their palettes. Very cute, but just I'm, I can't. Action Aquarius and my element is air. I really love the packaging, but I, you really can't do much with this palette. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one. Okay, this one I haven't used at all. This is from Etude House. It's super cute. Doesn't smell like chocolate. I'm gonna have to get rid of it because I am not gonna use this. I already know myself. Very pretty palette. Love this for green eyes and hazel, but not for me. Just not a huge fan of the quality of these, so I'm gonna have to toss them. Love these Maybelline shadows, but I've had them for way too long and I need to get rid of them. This palette just came in this year and it's really pretty, but it's very cool, so I do wanna give it away to somebody. Lunar Beauty with the packaging always on point. I need all of these tones in my life, so we will keep this. Kylie's collab with her sister Kendall. I don't see myself going to to it anytime soon so we're gonna have to get rid of her this is the Kylie birthday 24 karat birthday collection love this color range not a fan of the packaging to be honest okay urban decay I have a hard time getting rid of but I am not gonna be using this so I'm going to get rid of it this is the Gwen Stefani collab coca-cola x morphe that is crazy I'm definitely gonna have to keep this one more Kylie palettes don't think I'm gonna be reaching for these palettes so I'm gonna have to let them go this is such a cute palette. I love this e.l.f. palette, but I do want to revamp. This is my Mad for Matte 2. You guys know how bomb this palette is if you are a drugstore lover. I just want new things. It's so old. I definitely have to get rid of it. These are all Marc Jacobs palettes. I just know I'm not going to use any of these, so I'm going to get rid of all of them. I'm going to give them away. Cute, but giving away. Okay, I loved this palette, this collab from Becky G and ColourPop. This is the Hola Chola palette. This sad girl color right here I used for my eyebrows, I used for my hairline, like so many things. It's really hard for me to get rid of this palette, especially she, with her new palette. She has so many more beautiful colors with her own line, Dress Luce, so I kind of feel like I need to depart with her, but it's really hard too. Okay, then we have the Nudie Patootie palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is such a pretty palette. Love these tones. There are more cool tone shades, but they're not just like basic cool tones. These are very unique. Shimmers are to die for. Look at that. It's like a multi, multi chrome. I can't get rid of that, especially because I love Laura. So we are keeping her. The next palette we have is LA Girl Break Free. Cool packaging, but it is a lot. There's a lot going on there. Love the pan sizes. I love large and in charge pan sizes. Haven't used this one, obviously, so I feel like I can get rid of it. LA Girl VIP Desert Dream Palette. Pinks and neutral colors I really like, but I'm gonna have to get rid of it because I haven't used it and I honestly don't think I am gonna use it. Okay, this palette is so expensive. It's like $100, but the quality of this palette, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, is not good for how much it is. I love Marc Jacobs, but just this palette, I don't like it. Definitely gonna have to give this one away too. This is the LA Girl Main Stage Palette. Are we seeing the beauty here? This is beautiful. Like, 
definitely keeping her. The Sock Glam Palette Anastasia. This is actually a really good palette. I've used it a lot and I don't think I can get rid of it. It has orange soda in it, burnt orange, like all of those like initial shade from Anastasia that made me love them was this shade. So cannot let go of this. Okay, this is really beautiful packaging, beautiful shades but I don't think I'm gonna be grabbing these. Definitely gonna have to give this one. I've never heard of Spectrum before, but it's a really pretty, pretty package. Very nice quality, but because they're shadows that I have already have, I'm just gonna give this one away. Anything with that's Dior, I wanna keep, obviously, but this one, I really don't feel like I'm gonna be grabbing this one anytime soon, so I'm just gonna have to give her away. Ooh, this one's really nice. This is a Nude Medium from Huda Beauty, and it is really cute. Can't get rid of those pinks. Anything with Natasha Denona, I love. I know I have the ColourPop Neutral Palette that's super huge, but I want a more affordable brand and a more higher end brand so I can have the two to play with. This is a very loved, this is the Natasha Denona Biba Palette. I cannot get rid of her. I actually have a second one at home just because I love this palette so much. There's so many nice shades that you can wear every day. So I'm keeping another ColourPop and I'm gonna have to get rid of this one. This is a really big NARS palette. I think it's the only one that I have that's this big because of that purple right there. You see that? Like the really pretty like multi-chrome purple and this deep purple. I'm gonna have to keep it. I wanna give this one a chance. I love Hank and Henry. He's awesome and I love his brand and story. So I will keep this. This is my NARS section right here. You're gonna see a lot of NARS. I really have a hard time parting ways with beautiful packaging. I'm giving it away. Okay, this is the NARS Atomic Blonde Palette. Very pretty, it has a really pretty bronze and highlight shade. I don't feel like I can get rid of it, but I also don't feel like I'm gonna be using it very much. I'm gonna give it a try. We have the Man Ray Palette from NARS. Really beautiful packaging as always. That green is really, really cool, especially for like a holiday look. The gold's really pretty. Actually, I think I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this is another NARS palette. It has those really pretty reddish purpley tones that I absolutely love. So I'm gonna have to keep this one too. Okay, this one is so beautiful. This is the Wanted palette. I'm not gonna be able to give this one away. Okay, NARS packaging is superior. They have the best quality and coolest designs, but I'm gonna have to get rid of it because I just know I'm not gonna use it. This huge Morphe palette, I haven't used it much, but I don't think I can get rid of it yet. This is the 3502 palette, very pretty. Love, love these shades as well. I'm gonna have to keep this one too. Your 350 Supernatural Glow palette from Morphe. I feel like I'm gonna have to give this one away because I have too many. Okay, we are done with this. We cleared out this whole entire drawer, which was pretty deep. I'm gonna clean this up, and this is what I'm keeping so far, giving away or tossing. Okay, so now we're going to the colored palettes from A through N. So obviously it's kind of a hot mess, but we are just gonna start with this right here. This is probably ColourPop. Oh, this is Essence, Ice Ice Baby. Love Essence, but I mean, I haven't even seen the palette, but I just know that I'm not gonna grab this. Jaden's off of school now and he can help me hold this huge camera. So. All right, so we have the Play It Jewel palette and this one is so pretty. You have so many options. I love these jewel tones, but I have way too much just like this, so I'm gonna let it go. So then we have the Lunar Beauty Moonspell Volume 2, which is a really pretty colorful palette, but mostly purple. I want to play with this palette so much more so i am going to keep it also love manny so definitely keeping this guy we have the bratz revolution palette it is so cute and i was honestly so excited when they reached out to send this to me because bratz is just i'm obsessed they're so cute but i am not loving this palette i feel like i'm gonna have to give this away we have the avani greg x morphe palette super super colorful a lot of playful shades the quality of this glitter is absolutely amazing. I haven't played with this yet, but I don't feel like I'm going to. So I am just going to set this to the side. We have the Malibu Barbie collab with ColourPop. I kind of want to keep this just because I love Barbie and I haven't played with this at all. It's just kind of nostalgic for me. I'm just going to think about it for a second. Then we have these really cute palettes from Hello Kitty. I was absolutely a huge fan of Hello Kitty at one point in my life, but I just don't see myself using this. 
Again, my little sister maybe, but really not because, oh, this one's cute. This is a really cute palette, but I just don't see myself using it. So this is the ColourPop Fade Into Hue. A lot of fun colors. I'm gonna keep this because I feel like I definitely need something like this in my collection. Bretman, it's lit palette is so pretty. I love it, but I don't think I'm gonna be using this anytime soon. Aren't you glad by ColourPop? Beautiful color story, but I don't need it. This is the Natasha Denona Safari palette. This is the kind of colorful color story that I definitely need to keep. The original Moon Spell by Lunar Beauty. Love this entire palette, can't get rid of it. Morphe X Jeffree Star, never used this palette. Don't think I'm gonna step into this palette anytime soon. The Morphe Artist Pass. All of these Morphe palettes, they're enormous. There's a ton of different options here. Don't think I'm going to dip into this anytime soon, so I'm gonna have to get rid of it. It has to go. Gorgeous palette, love the purples in this. Don't know if I wanna get rid of it yet, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Live with Love palette, love this whole vibe. Very colorful, but also really wearable. I think I'm gonna keep it. This one is from Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay. Need I say more? How cute is this 1971 Coca-Cola X Morphe palette? I really love this, but the shimmers are so bland to me. I am going to be giving this one away. Keeping Kaja, killing it with the stacks, but I am gonna have to give this one away. How to Beauty Mercury Retrograde is such a beautiful palette. Can't get rid of this one just yet. Sipping Pretty from Kylie. Definitely a pretty palette, but I haven't dipped into it. I'm gonna have to put it in the middle. Celestial Storm. <laughs> Celestial Storm is obviously my palette from Dominique Cosmetics. We are sold out of it. It won't be coming back in stock, so say goodbye, you guys. Giving away. Oh my god, I did not know I had this palette with this color range. I'm keeping this. This is so pretty. Break free from LA Girl. Wow, you did that. BH Colorful Festival. I'm going to be giving this away. Fierce and Wild. These blues are literally everything. We're gonna have to keep her. Another complex culture palette. The packaging is very chic. The quality is good. I just not really feeling it, you guys. Hank and Henry Berries palette, such beautiful color range. I'm gonna definitely have to keep this. This was an adorable palette from Dose of Colors. I feel like I can give this to somebody who would absolutely adore it and give it as much love as it needs. The stupid love from Haw's Laboratory is so nice. There's a lot of really pretty blues. I'm gonna keep this. Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream is such a literal dream. These blues are gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna have to keep this. Club Daddy from Artist Couture. This palette is so fun. Very, very fun. Love the shades. This one is the Daisy Marquez and BH Cosmetics collab. A lot of pretty colors. Looks like a beautiful Tiffany box. Such a beautiful palette. Love the colors in here. Very fun. Fun. It's unique. I haven't really seen many palettes like this, so I'm going to keep this. Ace Butte has some really pretty palettes. So fun and so pretty. These two are really pretty palettes. They're both very cool tones, and I'm gonna have to send them to a home. Who remembers this one? So cute. More Kylie. This is the It's My Ray Ray palette from the BH Cosmetics collection. Such a beautiful, beautiful range of colors. Definitely keeping this one. This is the wet palette from the Bretman Rock and Color Pop collection. Loving this blue, the LOL I'm crying. So pretty. I love this palette. Elf and Jay Kissa to the Rescue palette. Such a gorgeous palette. I know this is like only limited edition. They probably don't even sell it, but the colors and the tones are just so fun. You have your mattes your bright mattes, your mid-tones, and then your shimmers. You just cannot go wrong with this, so I'm going to keep this. This is the Sailor Moon collection, a very pretty palette. I never watched the show. I know this is really popular, but I feel like somebody else would definitely be really excited about it, so I'm gonna give this one away. This is the Ace Beaut Scarlet Dusk palette. Really pretty color range, but I don't find myself wanting to use this. They're so tiny, I know I'm not gonna use them. They probably haven't been used at all they're still taped in there oh my god this is huge like I, I don't remember getting this but I haven't used it because I could see I could feel this still on there so this is a really big palette it's the carnival be perfect cosmetic palette I don't think I'm going to be using this to be honest this is the Jouer tan lines palette and it's pretty it's colorful it's actually really aesthetically pleasing to me and 
I kind of want to keep this. I was going to say to let it go, but I don't see why I wouldn't keep this. Such a cute palette, definitely keeping. Then we have all the Huda Beauty Obsessions, which she has a lot of really pretty color ranges here. Ooh, this green is gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep this green one. The red one, I'm gonna give this one away. Then we have the pastel palettes, which were so pretty. Please ignore my finger. <laughs> I lost my nail and I need to get my nails redone, so just it, pretend like that's not there. But I'm having trouble getting rid of the Huda palettes just because of the textures are so cool, unique, and the pastels are so pretty. So I think I'm going to keep these. More Huda palettes, little tiny pretty Huda palettes. This purple one, I don't think I can get rid of just because I definitely feel like I can use this. This one, I feel like it's very cool tone, not going to use it. Same with this one, very cool tone, neutral. We're going to give Purple Haze and Nude Light away. Okay, another e.l.f. palette that is kind of old. They're very just lacking that like luster, sparkling pop. So I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Lottie London is a really nice affordable brand. They're really cute. I love how vibrant they are. I do need like a fun electric palette still. So I'm gonna keep this mini one. I'm gonna let this one go, saying goodbye cute little minis but I am it's lacking that excitement for me so saying goodbye very very pretty love all the shimmers but I don't think I'll be using all the shimmers this is such a pretty pretty palette love the quality of these shadows the really bright hot pink and the purple and then we have the Alyssa Edwards from Anastasia a very very vibrant and pretty. I don't see myself using this though, so I'm going to have to pass it on. Same with this Prism palette. It's really pretty, very rustic and wearable. I don't know if I want to get rid of this actually. Um, I think I might keep it for a little bit. Then we have the Ace Butte. Ooh, this is a lot of pretty color. I haven't used this yet, but I don't think I want to go into this just because I have a few other shades from other palettes that I kept already. So I'm gonna let this one go. Letting go, letting go. I'm not gonna lie, I love her beauty, right? But I don't like this pan shape. It's It bugs me for some reason, the moons. I get the moon vibe of this it's really pretty and i do like that there's this pop of glitter in the center i don't find myself actually using this palette though so i'm gonna give it away love selena gomez love rare beauty just not feeling this palette too much this is such a cute little palette but i can't keep it another stack not gonna keep all of these Natasha Denona palettes I am keeping because I am a fan. I stan Natasha Denona. So keeping these beautiful color stories, amazing quality, highly pigmented, blends like a dream. All the things that you can say about an eyeshadow that's good, you will say them with this palette. So I have the bronze palette, the Zendo, and the Sunrise palette, which I'm going to keep they're gorgeous. A mini palette, very fun, very cute, going to give away. We love a mauve moment. Already have something like this though. Bunch of minis, very, very pretty. Love the blues. I'm gonna have to keep this even though I shouldn't. I'm gonna give these away. These are the House Lab Fantasy 4-Way. Not my fantasy. Pixie palette, everything you need in a palette. There's a lot of shimmers in here though, and I don't find myself using all shimmers. Cute. Okay, I just messed this one up, but it was really cute. <laughs> I'll give this to a family member if they want it. And this one is really, really pretty. Love the green. This entire palette's really cute. I just know I'm not gonna use it. Love these all, but they're kind of older, and I don't think I'm gonna be grabbing these. So I'm gonna put these in the giveaway pile. Last one, the KKW X Mario palette. It is KKW, love these shades. I'm gonna keep this, because we love Kim Kardashian. And Makeup by Mario. This is a really pretty neutral palette. I do have a lot of these shades already, but this bottom row is so pretty, and I like how they match with the mattes just perfectly. So I'm gonna keep this one, especially because it's from Vanity Makeup herself. So I'm going to keep this. The Cinnamon Swirl from Too Faced. I don't think I've ever used this one. It is really pretty. I don't know if it smells like anything, but I can't part with it just yet, just because it's too pretty. It's too cute. Then we have the Too Faced with Mariale Amor Caliente. So cute. Love, love this palette and love Mariale. Sigma Cor de Rosa. I have used this. Don't want to continue to use it because 
Not that I don't want to, I just for some reason don't. So I want to give this away to somebody who would. Then we have Persona. I actually have both of these palettes. They're so nice. I love how neutral they are. I think I have one at home as well. I will be giving away one and keeping the original one. Zoeva, or Zoeva, has some really pretty palettes. This one's very neutral, but I think I have a lot of this already, so I'm gonna give it away. Then we have Patrick's Band, one size. His palette is so cute. Love these tones. Very fall appropriate, so I'm going to keep this. Getting rid of this one. Okay, so this one is really pretty love. How huge these pant sizes are. The Juvia's Place just kills it, so we have to keep it. This is the tiniest little palette I have seen. I haven't really grabbed this palette, so I'm gonna let this one go. Yeah, this one too. Same with this, it's really cute, but I, I just know I'm not gonna use these. Then we have all the Urbans. I was such a huge Urban fan for such a long time. This was actually the first brand that I loved, like, high-end palette-wise. Honestly, never have been a fan of the shape or the size of the pan, but I do love their color story. This one is very, very cool tone. I am gonna have to get rid of it. There is an warm tone in there, and I love these two shades on the end, but I just don't find myself using it, so we're gonna get rid of this one. Tiny little palette from Urban Decay. Very cute. I'm going to give away. Aspen created a palette with Tarte. Very, very pretty. Love these tones. Very soft. As Got. I'm probably saying it wrong, but it, it's a collab with an artist and I love love the whole palette Love the shades the tones are really nice. It still has the brush in there I just feel like I need to give this to somebody who would really appreciate all of this the naked palettes the cherry palette very pretty the two palette that they customized for me is really really pretty love these neutral tones this naked three palette I was such a fan for this so long. Naked Smoky was really pretty and I actually still might keep this one. Really, really beautiful smoky tones. Naked Honey Collection was really gorgeous. Almost reminds me of the Kylie 24 karat gold one. Obviously, I think this one came out first. I think I'm going to keep this and actually let go of the Kylie one. Then we have the original Naked palette. I have two of these. I want to keep one just because I was so excited to get this when I first started doing YouTube and I cannot, like there's so many memories with this palette that I just can't get rid of it. But I do have another palette and I am going to give that to a friend or family member. This is from MAC. I'm going to keep this because I feel like I can do a really pretty smoky wing with this. Honestly, I'd only be using four colors from here. Maybe I should let it go. I am super indecisive. We're going to have to let this go. I'm sorry. So with the naked palettes, I'm I'm gonna keep cherry. I'm gonna let go too. Three is really cute, comes with a brush, and I feel like somebody else would absolutely love this. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, the semi-sweet. I absolutely fell in love with this palette. I have so many memories with this palette, and I'm going to keep this one and give this one away because it's new, it's pretty, and you guys deserve it. Another chocolate palette. The Gingerbread Palette. Persona Palette. Hasn't been touched. Very pretty colors. I'm not a big fan of any of these little sticks of eyeshadow from Peri Para. Going to give this away. Thrive Cosmetics always kills it and I love supporting them. This is my first palette ever, you guys. That is more high-end. There's so many memories behind this. I saved up to get this when I was first starting out as a freelance artist at a lot of drugstore. This was my first high end and I cannot get rid of this. Sin, do you guys remember Sin? Was everything, Polyester Bride, everything Promise to Mang was doing, I wanted to do in this palette. So yeah, too many memories to let go of the ammo palette. Suva Beauty has this really, really great pigmentation. Love the pan size. Love that you can take them out, but it's been here for a while and it's time to let it go. Letting it go, go. Same, not impressed pretty but just not my vibe. Collabs are hard to get rid of but this one I don't find myself using very much. Very beautiful palette. Love the packaging but it's a little bit older and I haven't touched it so letting it go. Tardis Pro Palette was amazing. Used it all the time. No longer am I using it. Adeline Morin's Tarte palette is everything. Love the tones on this. I still actually really love this, so I think I'm going to kind of keep it. A collab with the Too Faced Puppy. Very, very cute. Love this, but going to let it go. Oh, this is a face palette. Wrong drawer. Very, very pretty, but I'm going to let it go because it's too neutral and the shapes are kind of odd. Gonna have to let it go. Honestly, don't want to though. 
Maybe I shouldn't. Going to let it go. Only used it five times five years ago. The OG, love this, but have to let it go. Maneater palette was everything, gorgeous colors. Don't find myself going back in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, wedding vibes, but I'm letting it go. Cute, letting it go. So pretty. They were really popping in 2014 through 2016, but I'm gonna have to let this go. ColourPop has a ton of palettes. It's time to let some stuff go. Urban Decay Heat, such a beautiful palette. Maybe I'll keep this a little longer. Pretty Tones, I'm not really liking the shapes being like different sizes, so gonna let this go. Naked Reloaded, such a beautiful color range, great packaging, gonna have to keep this. She's a Friend, Kristen Leanne's collab, such a pretty little palette. We didn't even open this, what is wrong with us? So we're, let's open it now. The On The Road palette, so pretty, a little damaged, a little dirty actually, not damaged, but I'm gonna let it go. On the Run palette, the G Train. Really, really cute palette, but I'm gonna let it go. Naked Basics, always a staple, but I'm letting this go. Somebody is going to love this. Style by Rouge, can't let this go. Love you, Rouge. this color range is gorgeous. Another beautiful package, how can I let this go? Um, very, very difficult, but I'm gonna have to let her go. Honestly forgot about these shades. Really loving this area. It almost reminds me of the Pillow, Tar Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. I kind of want to keep this for a little while longer. Going to get rid of this even though it's not even in the right section. How cute is this little teddy bear collection? Adorable. I don't want to get rid of it, but I know I'm not going to use it. I'm going to let you guys have it. I feel like somebody would love this palette. Somebody would really appreciate it. Identity palette, we love her. New packaging, same beautiful formula and tones. For Rimmel, I don't have a Rimmel palette that is neutral like this, so I'm gonna keep a little Rimmel drugstore. Revlon Color Stay, they're really pretty. I mean, they're really nice color ranges. You have colorful, neutral, pinks, blues. I'm gonna get rid of them. I just don't think I'm gonna grab them. Flirt palette, very cute, giving away. Besties collab with Pixie, keeping forever. Really, really pretty shade range of lips, going to give away. Tati's palette was very used and loved, keeping it. Wow, this one is so pretty. I absolutely love these. I'm going to keep this. Ooh, Tina Young, this very, very pretty color range here. Love this palette, but I'm going to give away. Promises palette, cheek palette, very, very pretty. Going to have to keep this. I don't know what to do with this one. Should I give it away? Should I keep it? I probably won't use it. Let's give it away. Natasha Denona, I don't care what's happening. I am keeping. Nicole Concilio's Violet Gloss Collection. We gotta keep our girlfriends here. We have to keep all our girlfriends. Holy Girl Palette, stunning. Don't think I'm gonna use it again though. Ride or Die Palette, a lot of different shades. And I think I'm gonna give this one away. This is the last of the eyeshadow palettes. This is really fun. So Revolution reached out to me and asked me which one was my favorite Bratz. I said Jade because she's so cute, but it's just too, almost too like, I'm not gonna use this to be honest, you guys. I gotta give it away. Violet Boss is amazing, but I don't find myself using this very often. This is the Urban Decay Prince collab. Very beautiful, love this packaging. I just know I am not going to grab for it. Sigma and Beauty Bird, the Dream Palette. Love this, have like four of them. I will give one away, I will keep one. I'll give like three away and keep one because I have a lot. Violet Voss Sakura Palette, very pretty, never used it. I'm gonna keep it because this is really speaking to me. Oh my God, Born to Run Palette. This was such a nice palette. Urban Decay actually took us to a place of our choice and we decided to go to Mykonos, Caesar and I, and we had to blast. We went again this year and it was so amazing. I love this place and I have to keep this palette because it just, it's, it takes me to that memory. And this palette reminds me of the first time I stepped into Mykonos, thanks to Urban Decay. And I can't get rid of it. And it's a pretty palette. It's a very pretty palette. Sex Talk from Hank and Henry. Very beautiful palette, great colors. I'm gonna give this away. I haven't really used this very much. And I have a lot of his other palettes that are just as gorgeous. Wow, can we just take a moment? for the beauty of the P. Louise palette. First of all, P. Louise has the best primer for the eyes. And this palette is gorgeous. I love the tones. It's a very rich palette and I don't want to give it away just yet. It's too luxe, beautiful, and pigmentation is just stunning. I'm gonna be honest, she's out of breath. 
Your girl is out of breath. How gorgeous is this palette? I feel like I can, I can definitely do some looks with it still. All four of these Wet n Wild palettes I never used. Never gravitated towards them. I don't know why. I'm just gonna give these away. I'm gonna let her go, but this was so, such a beautiful palette. Sugar Crystals, never used it. Just as beautiful, so I'm gonna let this one go. The That's My Jam palette, I actually really like this purple from this palette, but that's the only color I would use. From Tarte, Icy Betch, so cute. Love the tones, I actually really love this, and I love that this highlight is in here. I don't think I'm gonna keep this. Oh my god, I remember this palette from Urban Decay, the electric palette. Good memories, beautiful pigmentation. I think I'm gonna let her go. Violet Voss, see you later. Oh my god, these colors pop out at you so much, and I know their pigmentation is amazing. I'm actually gonna keep this one. Rare Beauty kills it. Kills it. Going to keep this palette because I know the pigmentation is amazing. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs it up. That always helps us out a lot on this channel. And check out these two videos if you haven't already. And before I let you go, don't forget that you are beautiful inside and that's what really matters. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.